Hi folks, uh, Tony Palumbo here again from Smith Boys Marine. Uh, we were last at our other location in, in Chautauqua. This one is North Tonawanda, which is our biggest location. This one has sales, service, all of our boat slips. Wait till you see what we have to offer. Here it is, take a walk with me and enjoy. Okay folks, now we're here uh, in the main showroom where our sales department is. And then through this door is our service department and our ship store. Our ship store offers parts, accessories, anything you want. So let's take a walk, follow me. And as we come in uh, this side of the showroom, uh, we have uh, a department which is the biggest. This is Dawn. Dawn's in charge of our ship store. Good morning. Yep. And then uh, we uh, head this way over to our service department. And our service department has everything that, that you need as far as servicing your boat, uh, as far as renting a slip, winterization, storage. But if you take a look at what we have, it's uh, a wonderful way uh, to do business here at Smith Boy. We are truly a family-owned business. The original company was started in the 1930s, and we've been in the boat business since the 1950s. We've been a Sea Ray dealer since the fall of 1969, so this makes our 50th year selling Sea Rays in Western New York. We've been a proud dealer for all of this time, and in addition to selling Sea Rays, we also do service work, canvas work, mechanical work. We have a full accessory store department where you can buy your waxes, dock lines, all the items that you need for your boat. Over the years, we've grown tremendously from being a one location facility to today we have eight locations across New York State from the New York Pennsylvania border all the way down to the Hudson River. But we're still a family business and we would like to support you and make your boating experience a happy one. We have slips, winter storage, all kinds of service, but the biggest item is come on in and ask because there is virtually nothing we can't do. Okay folks, Tony again from Smith Boys. As you can see through our tour of the, uh, of the shop here, we've got a department which will accommodate those of you who have larger boats. So if you've got a boat anywhere from 25 to 60 feet long, we've got a travel lift that will essentially pick the boat out of the water for you, set it down for storage. We'll go to our left over here and you'll see where if your boat's in the water for the summer, you can dock it, pull it in here to our slip, We'll lift it up, take it out. We can do service on it. Uh, we do winterization, storage. Here at Smith Boys, there is nothing we can't do. So if you've got a yacht, if you've got a small boat, if you've got a sport boat, uh, a race boat, we do it all. Come to Smith Boys, see what we have to offer. I think you'll love it. We each have our own roles to play in the business. Fundamentally, I'm the administrator, which is sort of a boring job, if, if you know what I mean. Robbie standing next to me is the sales department, and he sells most of the boats. My brother Jeff is operations, who runs the marina in that respect. So the three of us together make a good combination of covering all aspects of what a business should be. But with any business, it all comes down to stick to -itiveness. There's ups, there's downs with the economy and things of that nature. But the issue is on a family owned business, you stick with it and you keep on going. And each year you move forward a little bit and become a little, hopefully a little better, a little bigger and help more customers or more people enjoy their summertime. We are the third and fourth generation of the business and we've been all over Western New York. We originally started on Ellicott Creek in the city of Tonawanda and then moved over to River Road in North Tonawanda. The property that you see today with our service and showroom was originally an international paper manufacturing site that we bought from international paper back in the 1980s. And over a period of time, we demolished the buildings from the paper factory and built the marina. A little bit at a time and over about a 10 year period, we demolished everything that was from the factory and built the marina. Joe's our lead salesman. Joe's gonna give you an idea of what it's like when you purchase the boat, how long it takes before you can you can actually get in the water. So go ahead, Joe. Oh, well, you know, the process is quite simple and easy. Uh, just like when you purchase anything, whether, you know, it's a house, a car, um, you know, there there's a certain, uh, procedure um, usually you know you pick out you know the item that you like 
and then we figure out whether you know it's going to be a cash deal or if you'd like to take advantage of uh, our in-house uh, financing that we do offer at all of our locations and then pretty much from there uh, we take you on a water demo after we got the whole payment uh, you know uh, aspect figured out and then uh, the most important thing on my side is being part of the sales team is you know the water demo um, it could take anywhere from 15 20 minutes to your advanced uh, boater all the way to two hours plus for your novice uh, and first-time buyers uh, my main key is uh, customer service so I want to make sure that you're very comfortable with your purchase um, Locally, we'll take you to your dock. We'll make sure that you're comfortable docking. I take all the time that you need to feel comfortable. We'll go over every option the boat offers and how everything works just to make sure that you got that good feel. Uh, like I said, we're family owned and operated, so uh, we just make you a part of our extended family. The, the model, I mean, we, we sell Sea Ray, which if you are looking for a boat, Sea Ray would be comp comparable to like a Cadillac in, in the car industry. Uh, I'd say Mercedes uh, in my point. But but yeah. Well, again, it, it's a high end. Right. And then uh, we sell Bayliner products. We sell Berkshire pontoon boats. Uh, and of course, Malibu access. Malibu access sport boats. And then, of course, a variety of used. Right. So when, when, a, when a boat is sold, I think the detail is much more, it, it's more detail orientated. You've got to go over the boat. A lot of first time buyers are a little nervous when they buy. So sure. as Joe mentioned, we take the water test, we go out with you. Sometimes we have to go out a second and third time with you before you actually feel comfortable. Yeah, we, we make it uh, extremely easy with our online financing. You can be, you can live four, six, eight, ten hours away in another state. You can fill an application online, get pre-approved, come in, we can have the boat ready for you. So again, uh, today's world, everybody wants things uh, yesterday. Sure. In the boating world, uh, we try to make it as convenient as possible, but yeah. the general gist of it is when you buy a boat it takes probably a, about a week okay. five to, to eight days at minimum to get it ready uh, you know so that when you when you show up to the location uh, you can water de demo it as Joe said and we go from there well we're actually going to take a walk into the ship store we call it the ship store is where we sell the accessories and where service is located but we carry most parts that are the the annual most ones, common, most right. common ones, you know, props and things like that, that uh, that have a tendency to fail. But uh, we're going to talk with Dawn, who's anxious to talk. She wants to give you an idea of what she experiences. We take a lot of phone orders, especially at this location in North Tonawanda. So, my name's Dawn Capilano. I'm the ship store manager. Okay. Uh, I do order parts, the Sea Ray parts as well. Okay. Um, using the computer to find the parts, we look up the year of the boat, and then we can search each part of that boat and find what you're looking for and order it for you online. If we don't have it, we'll find it. Are available that are already out there. The parts in them, there are. You'll see there's some Sea Ray parts in here. There's some called Faria. Um, there's just different ones for different boats, but it shows an example of what people might be looking for and what we can order or right. is available for them. Or they go into nav navigational charting sure. that they want to put on the boat with the GPS instead, um, AM, FM radios. You can get a CD player in it. You can really upgrade from what comes in it. It's a whole different thing. Though. It is. You know, I was, it is. And there are some parts that I don't have a clue what they're looking for, so I send them over to the service, sure. and they can help them out with it. Or Dan works with me, and we find what they're looking for. Right, and that's all it is. It's, right. You know, it's, uh, making... Everything is stainless steel to go in the boats. So, and everything is labeled, make it easy to find. The technicians will come over and they just grab what they need out of here, put it on the invoicing. Uh, customers do come in as well. That's why everything is priced, so the customers know how much they're going to pay for any parts that they want. So it's just like any other store. We've got it our departments. Little, little departments all in here. Um, all my sections are numbered for inventory purposes, so we keep up with all of that. So, in here you have anything, um, your ratchet, your mounts. Um, things for the GPS system, plugging right. that in, which we normally would install that entire system, right. but in case somebody's trying to do that on their own before right. they sign up for service because they didn't do it right, right. they can get the parts for over here for that. Gotcha. Any of your cleats outdoor or replacing any of your uh, end caps, rub rails, things well, like that. Thing, right? But these definitely are things that we sell more of, so we do keep this in stock. Mm -hmm. These tend to break or you hit a pylon or anything like that. Sure. Um, we'll just keep going through all sure. your gas caps and keys. We do carry spare keys. People tend to lose these or break them. Um, glove box locks, latches. We have all of that. All of your ropes. 
that you might need for any reason. Mm -hmm. We have the prepackaged fender ropes and line ropes. We have the anchors, and then we also have a rope here that you can buy separately and hook it to your cleats gotcha. or your thimbles and make your own connections for all of your oh, you do. buoys. Mm -hmm. And that's just uh, part of... Every boat comes with a safety kit. Depending on the size of the boat, they're going to get everything that they need to start off in boating with a safety kit. Awesome. But they also highly recommend that people do take the safety course. Yeah. And I know would, exactly well, what they need. Not? A lot it's of people not don't. Right? It will be. It will be. Oh, when's the date on that? Is that coming up? Or? Um, it's separated by years. Okay. So up to 2025. Okay. And it goes by your date of birth. Okay. And each person's going to have to register within those years and take that course and either carry the piece of paper for certification right. or have the anchor that goes right onto your license. So we have our mooring section. I see that you have stains and paints over here. Right? We do carry a few stains for those that still have teak on their boat. Um, we have the bottom paint that we tend to go through quite a bit. Um, a lot of it is stock paint that we just carry for mm -hmm. applications that we've used previously. We do carry all the painting supplies back here. Right. And then, of course, we do carry many, many props. Yeah. I'd love to have the props, though. So this is our entire marina. I can find this online too, right? So I can take a you can. Um, we have A and B docks, which are on the river road side. And now we are crossing that bridge. This is Tanawanda Island. And we are actually in this building right here. And we have docks over here from C all the way down to the end in our G section. Yes, it is very huge. And down here in this little red building, we have shower, laundry, facilities down here. That's yes, so that, we have a hoist there and we have one down here too. Um, so from here you come down and we also have um, bathroom and showers in here. We have our snack shack. We have our in and out service that goes in and out here. So we separate each section out so the customers can actually come in and say, well, I'm interested in a dock, and they can see where they're going from there. It is. People love coming in and picking out their own areas. We send them on a little tour of all the different docks. The current's different. Oh, it is. And each area, some people prefer to take a look at it themselves to make that decision. Most marinas should at least have accommodations for the bathrooms, not so much the showers. And laundry. Yeah. I think we're one of the first to actually have laundry facilities right on the area. And then we also have our jet ski slips, which are at, their, are at the other end of the sea docks. That's about all I have. Yeah. So down here in our sea area, we've added, uh, we now have 13 jet ski slips that are on this side over here. And they so are just pull right up. We have several families that have their boats in these areas here, and then they also have a jet ski in here. Wow. So the kids use the jet skis, and the boats are over here. Makes it cool. handy for them to stay together. So this is really <clears throat> another aspect of your job here. It's not just, I mean, you're... I do many different things. Yeah. I wear several hats here. Um, first and foremost, I am in charge of all the docks and okay. selling the summer slips and making sure that everybody's in the proper docks and getting all the information that we require. Driver's license information, insurance, that you have insurance on your boat. Um, yeah, you can't slip a boat with a... Uh, lots and lots of fenders. Depending on the size of your boat, um, we carry them in the white. We have a couple in the black. But you can order so many different colors and brighten up your boat with your own fender colors if you wanted to do so. The colors are special orders. Otherwise, we carry every size in the white ones that you would definitely need on a daily basis. You know, always have something in stock. You have summer products, you know, you're on and off your bottom cleaner. Mm -hmm. Most people do that both in the spring and in the fall when they take the boat out of the water. And then your summer cleaners on this side. So everything's in here that you might need. Awesome. This time of year, it's this uh, no damp stuff that everybody wants to keep in their boat for the winter yeah, that, to keep the dampness out. And the mold it's smell, it's hard to get rid of that. Yeah, yeah, once it's in, it's in. Once it's right? in. Life jackets, life preservers, a lot of this has to do with your seals. We carry stock of seal products if your seals or your gaskets are gone on something. Uh, the plastic trim edging for your boat. I mean, there's different types of edging and things that you might need. You go by the shape on here. People most, you know, would bring in a piece of it, show us what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. Like this one is shaped with an edging on it here. Gotcha. This one might be more round on the inside. Gotcha. They're all a little bit different. So even if you don't have it, we do have a company that we deal with that we can order even the older parts on. 
The, one of the things we find very interesting, having been in business for as long as we have, we have customers today that were little kids 20 and 30 years ago that came to us with their parents. And they bought a boat because they said, we had such a good experience growing up sure. that we want to provide the same experience for our kids. And in some situations, we're even at the point now where we have grandchildren buying boats from us that were our original customers many, many years ago when their grandfather first bought a boat. So it, it is an item that creates a wonderful experience for the family atmosphere. Because in the big picture, where would you rather have your kids? Would you rather have them with you on your boat? Or would you rather have them with somebody else's family doing something else? Yeah. You can be the hero in the eyes of your kids by having a boat, and then at the same token, inviting all the friends to come down and go boating with your kids and their friends. All of a sudden, you're a hero in the neighborhood. It's a wonderful experience, and it's something that your kids will remember their entire life. And that is an item that you really can't put a price tag on. Yes, we put a price tag on the boat, but the experience you make for your family is priceless. Yeah, it really is, and those type of One of the things that we find in regards to the marina is that if you actually leave your boat with us for the summer, you will use the boat more often because you will come down after work, have your family meet you here, somebody will stop and grab takeout somewhere along the way, and you'll take your boat out for the evening and go boating. And the evenings in western New York are absolutely gorgeous. The, 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 the river is flat, the lake is flat, it's a beautiful thing to do. And then at the end of the day, you bring your boat back in and you, and you tie it up and you can go home. It's by far a better experience than leaving your boat on a trailer and having to tow it to a launch ramp, putting it in the water, taking it out of the water, so we have truly found that when we take boats back in trade as customers move up, the boats that are left in the water that they can use readily have more time on them, which means the people have had more opportunity to enjoy the boat. So there is clearly a benefit to having the marina for any size boat that you have. And here in this facility, we have slips that range from boats for 16 foot up to boats that are 60 feet in size. So virtually anything that's in Buffalo, we can handle. The original business in the 1930s started out as an auto parts store, and they, they had multiple auto parts around Western New York. My, our parents and our grandparents grew up on Grand Island on the water, and they had boats as they were kids growing up, etc. And as time went by, they slowly moved into the marine industry because that was their passion. That's what they loved. They lived on Grand Island. They lived on the water. So it was just a natural growth or evolution for the family to do over a period of years back in the 50s. Again, folks, this is the service department where they can take care of all your needs. As you can see, when you make your way this way here, I'm going to take you on a tour of the the area where they work on the boats, which is um, something to see. So follow me this way. And we're gonna go through this door. When you go through this door, you'll see what we have here, a full service shop. So you can bring your boat in, service your boat, clean your boat. Uh, we do our winterization uh, all in this area right here. But when you walk through here, you'll see as you spin around, oh. here's some of the boats that uh, we're working on as we speak. So again, here at Smith Boys, we do it all. You want to bring your boat in, anything uh, at all that you want done, you just let us know and we'll take care of your need for you. As part of our summer services, we also offer an in and out service where we store the customer's boat inside our rack building for the summer. The customer calls us when they leave their house and we pick up the boat, gently put it into the water for them to use, and then at the end of the day, we take the water back, the boat back out of the water again and put it back in, into the storage building. We will show you the process as to how we do this. We'll start with taking the fork truck up to the building. You'll note what's unusual about this fork truck is that the forks go below ground level to gently set the boat into the water. You'll see this in a moment. Into the building and backs down to where the desired boat is located. You'll notice that the actual forks of the fork truck are padded with a rubber coating 
so that when it lifts up the boat, it protects the bottom of the boat from any, any, from any damage. The boat we're going to pick up is in the second rack up in the air, which will be a very unique experience. You'll see that the forks will drive underneath the bottom of the boat, and then the hydraulics of the fork will lift the boat off its cradle and then back out. Watch and enjoy. As you can see, the fork truck driver is currently removing the boat from the racks, driving straight back. When the bow of the boat is far enough out, he'll spin the tires and start to drive out towards the water. Our customer's boat is now heading towards the water to be launched so that he can enjoy the afternoon. As you can see, we're coming to the water's edge where the fork truck will go right up to the edge of the water so that we can place the boat into the water. The fork truck is now right at the edge, built on a special ramp so that we can drive right up and set the boat into the water. Note that this fork truck has forks that go below ground level so that we can set the boat into the water. There's virtually no manual labor involved in the process. It's all done through the fork truck with the hydraulics to gently set the boat in the water. As the boat floats free, we guide the boat out from the forks and pull it around onto the guest ramp so that the customer can come down and use the boat for the afternoon. The, the, the boat is now ready for the customer to come. It's right on the shoreline. There's plenty of parking. The customer will come down and uncover his boat, hop in and go away for an afternoon. This makes it extremely easy for the customer so that he can enjoy boating and not have the hassles of putting the boat in and out of the water. At this point, it's a great summer. The customer has lots of opportunity to use the boat. Generally speaking, we will put a boat in and out of the water once a day, as much as the customer wants, all summer long. What we're looking at here is a boat stored for the winter with a protective shrink wrap around it to keep the snow and the weather elements off of the boat. So what we do is we prep the boat for the winter, winterize the engines, the water systems, etc. And then we put this big sheet of plastic around it that, is, that it sh shrinks with heat. We wrap it up, put some heat to it, and the plastic will literally shrink tight to the boat to hold the snow and the weather off of it. It will last all through the winter. It does a great job for storing boats outside. Generally, outside storage is a little less expensive than inside storage, so some people will prefer that over inside. Sure. Also, the other nice thing about shrink wrap is we do a, a large amount of shrink wrapping of boats that get shipped from one facility to another. So you'll see trucks going down the highway with this white plastic <laughs> around sure. the, with, right. with the white plastic around the boat. The purpose of that is to protect the boat going down so that if it gets bad weather conditions, or if the truck should run into some construction and there's, there's dirt in, in, in the environment, okay. the boat stays clean. Also, which you, you hate to acknowledge, but if the truck has um, dirty exhaust sure, coming out of it, a lot of them do. The, right. the dirty exhaust doesn't affect your boat, your upholstery, or anything like that. And when you get done at the end of the season or at the end of your trip, you just take a regular pair of scissors and you cut the plastic off, and in ten, 10 minutes, the plastic is gone, and your boat is the way it was when you shrink-wrapped it, clean as it was the day that you did it. There's a boat that's a little smaller shrink wrapped. Gotcha. I'm going to walk up to the next one. So what is this at, 22? Generally speaking, in the shrink wrap process, the plastic comes down and there's a cloth band that goes all the way around the boat. And then we flip the plastic up 
and melt it to itself. Oh, oh, so, oh, so that there's actually oh, two awesome. layers of plastic here, but it's it's wrapped around the band that goes all the way around the boat, and you can see how tight it is here. Yeah, that's really it, 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 is that it's 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 there. Yeah. It's got just a teeny bit of give, and it's yep. they're like just snapping onto the side of the boat, mm -hmm. which is what you look for, right? That's what we look for, and it will also keep the plastic on the boat during some of the wind storms and snowstorms. Or if you're driving down the highway, it's 50 or 60 miles an yeah, hour on the truck transport. Yeah, the pressure on the the shrink wrap will stay on the boat. Correct, we'll do virtually anything that the customer wants, whether you, you come in as a general customer from the public or whether you're a slip renter or whether you bought the boat from us, we will do all kinds of stuff. You know what Don was telling me about the transient uh, program that you have? Yes. That's really cool. And that you have a laundry facility, showers, all mm -hmm. of that. We, we have a good amount of transient people that come in because they'll stop here and they'll want the service. They like the marina, the cleanliness of the marina, but at the same time, if they've been traveling for a period of time, they will ask for an oil change and filter change, or it's if like they have some, stop. <laughs> it's, it's basically like a pit stop in a, in, in a car race. Right. <laughs> or if there's some other issue that they have with the boat, they'll ask us to fix it. Right. The other interesting item is we'll make arrangements with transients ahead of time that they'll be here on a certain day, mm -hmm. and they'll have their friends or guests, or if they buy something on the internet, right. they'll have it shipped to us here, well, and, awesome. and we will hold it for them until they show up, so that when they show up here, all their packages will be here for what they're looking for. Yeah, so if you have a birthday party or you have an anniversary yep. or whatnot. Like, a absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. The other thing that makes this... Thank mm -hmm. you.